This is a terrific region. This, this region is alive with, with science and technology. There's a lot of things uh, happening in the East Midlands area uh, for new scientists and professionals. At TT Systems, what we do, we actually develop cutting-edge technology for embedded systems. This little processor here is an embedded system. It's in your aircraft, it's in your cars, in your mobile phones, your desktop. It's everywhere. You're actually putting your life on the embedded system. So it's important to ensure that these systems operate in a reliable manner. Zico make polishing machines in the very high precision optical polishing market. Also for uh, telescopes that are launched into space. We have X-ray telescopes as well. They build um, computer controlled machines for precisely forming um, surfaces, whether they're glass surfaces for lenses, optics, or there's other applications as well, um, like orthopedics, hip joints, because of their polish very smooth. I thought this was a very good opportunity. It's a startup company, um, lots to do, lots of experience to gain. If anything, it's given me so much of experience, a lot more experience. I think what I've gained over the past three years is something I would not have achieved anywhere else. Dalo Devices is a spin-out company which resides in the uh, uh, Department of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at Loughborough University. The device helps identify blocked arteries in um, uh, patients. There are two sensors which are applied on the foot of a patient. The sensors supply light to the tissue. The light is read back from the tissue after it has travelled through. It provides information of blood volume changes during a functional test. If we think in terms of um, uh, time cost in the NHS, for example, I would take um, the testing time from something like 15 to 20 minutes for a conventional test uh, down to a couple of minutes and save more lives. But yeah, we're putting stuff into space. Uh, we have a lunar reconnaissance device that's, that's orbiting the moon. Um, and the future is uh, quite, quite bright. Basically, the offer of a, a job from Zico, um, because I just graduated, and it looked like an interesting company, um, so I just decided to move. You do get to work on sort of exciting projects, and it's kind of nice to think that something you might work on might go into space one day. We have some pretty good innovations in the pipeline as well, so watch this space. Enterprise Inc. is running um, throughout the region in the nine universities and has been funded by the European Regional Development Fund and EMDA and been supported by HEFGI as well to provide an opportunity for enterprising students to set up and develop their own businesses. As I've been working as a um, health professional for years now and uh, within the domains of my work um, I realised, especially towards the end of my um, research and my PhD write-up, that the service that we're giving to, the, uh, to our children is inferior and I wanted to bring a better form of treatment. The most conventional form of treatment um, of amblyopia or lazy eye is to cover the good eye and that's usually with a patch. The way that the design of the patch is made, it's more acceptable for the child and um, the treatment is more effective because of the, the design of the patch. The training provides all the nuts and bolts that you need in terms of um, business planning, financial planning, forecasting. And then we also really do quite a lot around really their own personal development in terms of them gaining their own confidence and self-awareness. Being part of Enterprise Inc, we had to go through a series of workshops, looking at business plans and marketing and just knowing that there's other people out there and having guest speakers come in to speak at the Enterprise Inc. workshops has been absolutely fantastic. Here at TT Systems, every little bit of thing that you do, you can actually see the direct effects of it. You can see how it's actually helping the company and you know, making it better. So it's actually very uh, gratifying doing the job here. It is a great starting point, I think, to work in um, in a small company. I mean, I get to see a lot of different areas of the company and like you know, can develop different skills, like just mechanical skills. I think I'll be quite surprised if any other job will give me all this 
in just one position. So I think that's, that's what I like. never had to go very far to find somebody willing to have a go at some kind of innovation or take a, take a twist on some old technology. Very vibrant uh, living environment. It's still very centrally located if you want to go anywhere else in the country. I don't know why, my heart's in Leicester. I just think that this is a, a great place to be to, so that you know, whatever you, your ideas are, they can actually come into fruition. Using the science part, you can attract more startups in Leicester or other companies to move into. Leicester. Having an incubator, somewhere where businesses can germinate those ideas, meet like-minded people, be in an environment that actually nurtures and develops individuals. The area itself, I think there's lots of potential. We're producing lots of uh, high quality students, so the skill set is there, the skill set is available. What we need to do is try and tap into that skill set and make it something that can really grow and you know, improve the industry here. Let's go out and reach out and <laughs> just do it. <laughs> it's, it's just exciting times ahead.